Rainbow Wahine volleyball team appeared in its 36th NCAA tournament today. Good evening, I'm MG Montemayor. In a round one thriller with Illinois, ladies climbed their way back in after going down two sets to none. From Seattle, a sluggish start for Hawaii. First set did not go its way. Fighting Illini took set one, 25-18. Not much better in set two. Offense slow to get going. Ladies fell 25-17. But UH showed some major grit in set three. Found a way to shut down Illinois 25-13. McKenna Granato brought the heat. Carried Hawaii into a set four win, 26-24. She racked up 15 kills, 21 digs. Emily Maglio added 18 kills. But ladies fell just short. Illini took set five, 15-10. Season ends for the Rainbow Wahine. They finished 20-8 overall. Rainbow Warriors basketball team back on the hardwood tomorrow in their first road game of the season. They'll face Utah, their fourth 2017 postseason team in their first six games. You know, there's a reason they're good and they've been good. It's a perennial NCAA tournament team, not far removed from a Sweet 16 appearance. Why are they like that? The same reason others are. They're balanced. They're good inside. They're good on the perimeter. They defend. They're good on the offensive end. They rebound. They take care of the ball. We've struggled there. We turn it over 15 times. I think just their overall balance. They're well coached. A lot of respect there. Teams will meet for just the third time in the last 18 years. Hawaii's four and one. Utes are five and one. Tip off 2 p.m. Hawaii time. Day three of the Vans World Cup of Surfing picks up today. The second jewel of the Triple Crown continued to place Hawaii wave riders up against each other. But biggest standout of the day was local boy Sebastian Zietz. I love catching a lot of waves, and if you can sit and under priority and get that inside bowl, it kind of totally separates from the outside ones, and you can get a, a really good barrel and sunset. They love the barrel to score the barrel, so yeah, it's a, it's a good tactic. Hopefully no one steals it. <laughs> Zietz not only topped his round three heat, but he posted back-to-back nine-point rides, a 9.77 in wave two, and finished with the highest heat total of the day. Maui surfer Cody Young also moved on, knocking out world number two, Gabriel Medina. Young and Zietz will face off in the same draw in round four. Other local boy Ezekiel Lau is edged out of the competition. So thankful to make a final here in Honolulu, especially against Steph. I think that was one of my goals and dreams is to make a final here. And the top girls really challenge my surfing and I love it. And so thankful to finish off the year in beautiful Hawaii. Eight months after suffering a knee injury at the Margaret River Pro, Kauai's own Malia Manuel surfed her way into the finals at the Maui Women's Pro today. Because I was injured for most of the year and I wasn't chasing points and I wasn't chasing after a world title, so I kind of came into this event with lower expectations and not as much pressure, which worked out in my favor. At Honolulu Bay, Manuel, who was sidelined for four events this year, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with event winner Stephanie Gilmore. She outscored the current world number two in wave one. But despite her runner-up finish, she closed out the season with her best result of 2017. And in college football, Pac-12 championship matchup between my 10th-ranked Trojans and 12th-ranked Stanford today. Tight race, but SC prevailed 31-28, the first time a Pac-12 South team has won this title game. That's why you're so happy today. I'm excited. But we have to get excited tomorrow. Millie Lonnie grad, Mackenzie mm -hmm. Milton, tomorrow at the AAC Championship game, 7 a.m. Get up and watch that one. Right and early. Sure. Right, right and early. All right, thanks, MG. Thank